These were three test races for the FDC League, of five laps each. The first was a one-shot qualifying session leading to an F2 race. I took pole position ahead of Juan Dorian. Canada is a good track for me because I always do testing there, and I was warmed up beforehand seeing how the F2 car handles, but I knew that Juan Dorian had a lot of talent, so I'd have to work hard to stay ahead. It was a very straightforward race and everything went fine. The cars were fun. I crossed the line just ahead of Juan Dorian to win the first race. Although he took the fastest lap. Darrow took third. And TJD took fourth. I added a couple of AI cars to help fill the grid. Race two was another F2 race. This time with a random grid. And somehow I started in first again. But this time Juan Dorian was warmed up and he found some grip on the inside to take the lead. And he stayed consistent to take a well-deserved win. Again he took the fastest lap. I was second, Darrow was third again, and TJD had a terminal crash I believe. The third race was supposed to be cars from 2010 and 2009 without setups, but the drivers readied up so quickly that the start was triggered before I could even finish the settings. So we ended up with setups, which led to me throwing on a 2019 setup. Naples just missed qualifying was given a 2003 car, which of course was the fast Williams. I'd actually done an original 2010 league round at Canada many years ago, and I took pole position in the test, alongside Darrow in second. TJD and Juan Dorian had automatic disqualifications. I had a poor start and got sandwiched as Darrow took the lead in his McLaren. Typically this is a part of the highlights video where I try to talk over it with something interesting but doing that for every highlight video of a full season takes time to sort out so I'm considering shortening the highlights videos in future. In third I made a straightforward overtake on one of these slow AI cars to chase after Darrow. Darrow's car looked like it was getting a bit sideways on the corner exits as he put the power down but he still had the acceleration to stay ahead. I'm not sure why I never managed to get through whether I just wasn't accelerating aggressively enough, or it was a traction control issue, or the McLaren just performed a bit better there, but I was stuck behind him. I tried to figure out which cars were faster out of the 2009 and 2010 choices, but I tended to go faster on whichever one I'd used more, so the results weren't clear, but at least they were somewhat close to each other in speed. Even after getting alongside the hairpin, Darrow rocketed away. I had some nostalgia for the old cars. I think the noses looked good back then. Following regulation changes, I think for the sake of safety, some of them ended up looking very strange after 2011. We were getting bunched up together, Naples clearly had some speed in his 2003 car. If this was a proper event then his result would have to be disqualified, as it was supposed to be 2009 and 2010 only. The 2003 and 2004 cars are very quick, and their engines make that wonderful screaming noise that always reminds me of Michael Schumacher. Despite just being a small test, it saw a lot of side-by-side -side action. I was running a mix 3 a lot of the time, and hopefully that wasn't overheating the engine. The F2 tests were for a potential support league for an F1 series, where drivers applying for a spot in the F1 season would have to attend some F2 races, and prove that they were clean racers and interested enough to attend a few races, so that would end up with active and clean drivers taking up the F1 spots. The classic cars were being tested for a potential fun league, and the YouTube videos were a part of that. So the test was also to make content for this video, not just as an on-track test. Heading into the final lap, Darrow braked early. We were alongside. Then I got smacked back down to third.
It looks like TJD fishtailed into a terminal crash. I think a lot of the drivers would want to pick their Ferrari. So if we did a Classic League, I think I'd have to encourage drivers to pick the McLaren or the Red Bull or the Braun GP car. As it was just a test race, I thought I'd take a fast run at the last corner aiming to exit fast enough to overtake Darrow just before the line, but I didn't have enough of a gap to Darrow's car, so I bumped into it and ended up sideways. Then seemed to get beached on a curb while trying to spin around. So Darrow picking up I think his first win in an FDC event, Naples helping test the league but unfortunately in the wrong car, Chikoranium third, yours truly fourth, ignoring the AI, Wondorian was fifth, and a terminal incident for TJD. So that was our test for future racing leagues. Thanks to everyone that helped out. The future league videos will be on the FDC channel. So we'll see what people are interested in and hopefully end up with a fun league in the near future.